Welcome back to another episode of Cinder Frankie's DMT B progression vlog. And today we decided to venture out two miles out of the city. We're two miles out of where we live in the Los Angeles greater, the great, out of greater Los Angeles area. And uh, we decided to do this after we finished our daily routine at work. Ship everything out in USPS, dropped everything off. Personally, did not have to wait for the postal lady. And uh, we decided to come to Mount Pinos. And we're gonna tackle the McGill Trail. Uh, we're at the bottom now, and uh, we're gonna climb up. I think it's like a eight, nine mile climb. Shouldn't be too difficult on our e-bikes. Should be pretty easy, relatively easy. Just uh, a little hot, but overall excited. Um, for those more advanced riders, uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure if this is something you want to do, drive two up two miles, I mean, two hours out of the city just to come here. But for someone like my wife, Ellen, I think it's completely worth it because to her, it's a blue trail. She needs the flow. She needs the wilderness experience for her to be able to enjoy cycling as much as we do. You know, you got to get out here because a lot of the stuff in the city or close to where we live, they're blue. Not as long, not as fun. So this is uh, flowy fun. Ooh -wee. That was a good uh, eight mile high, uh, eight mile ride up. Uh, Woo. Finally made it. Awesome. Ready? Ready? All right. Ready to drop into Mount Pinos. Photo time. <laughs>
So far, so good on this trail. Flows, flowy, fast. Got some jumps for beginner. Uh, I think it's like perfect for Ellen. Um, it's nice and cool inside the uh, trees. Long, uh, lots of fun. If you have the spare two hour drive out of Los Angeles, greater Los Angeles area, get your butt up here, have some fun on the blue trails. It's long. Climb is a bitch, but if you're able to uh, shuttle with a friend, I think it's somewhat worth it. Um, actually, it's not somewhat worth it. I, I think it's well worth worth the trip up here if you haven't been up here. It's the wilderness and the flow is just continuous. So it's a lot of fun for uh, beginner to intermediate riders. Uh, other than that, um, today's EMTB progression, uh, since I'm on flow trail, I'm gonna try and ride without brakes as much as I can um, and try to use <clears throat> pumping and uh, pushing myself into the berm. Like uh, Orvin was telling, my good friend Orvin was telling me about, um, you know, just use these techniques to improve your riding. So relaxed, flow, pumping. <laughs> if that makes sense, relaxed and pump. That's what we want to do. All right, see you in a bit.
Look at the oh, look at the view. Check this out. Whoo! Ah, this is worth the drive. Woo! I had to get a shot on that uh, that area. It's just so beautiful. I don't want to ride too fast in this area because. Views are beautiful. Nice. Towards the end of the trail. Pretty fun. Uh, in my, I think uh, with the e-bikes, definitely worth it to climb twice. But uh, we are out of time today because um, it is five, and by the time we get up, it's gonna be seven, and uh, I don't think that's gonna be enough time. Oh shit! <laughs> So, quick preview. If I, I think it's worth coming back. I just need, we just need to come back with uh, a shuttle, or you come back early in the day and then we climb up twice, and that would be completely 100% worth coming here. Uh, you know, just fun, flash, fast, flowy. A um, little bit far, but nevertheless, always fun. All right, guys, finally made it back to our uh, official uh, Send It Frankie's uh, lair, I guess. Took the liberty to uh, utilize our warehouse space and change this into a little bit of uh, our, I guess, <clears throat> a place where we can fix up the bike, a place I can do intros, outros. Mampinos is a really, really fun place to ride, um, especially for beginner riders uh, looking for longer flow, or maybe if, you, if you're able to go camping out there, spend a the night there, camp and then ride two days, it's super fun. And for for us uh, e-bikers, you, you want to do the trail twice, so it would be great if you could just, if you have the time to pedal twice, and we didn't, for any other riders, I suggest uh, 
the best thing to do is to do a shuttle with your friends because you know if you if you do do the shuttle you skip the climb and then the drive from bottom to up it's like five minutes <laughs> and then you can do like a really long run down which is super fun um, so tomorrow we are going to Idlewild super excited and today after the ride I've noticed certain things um, on my bike. The creaking is still there. I'll make sure everything is secured. And uh, I'm gonna go mess with my uh, dropper seat post a little bit because I feel the dropper seat post is not coming up as fast. And when you're in Idlewell, you ride a lot of those places where you need to extend your dropper seat post up and down, up and down. So we're gonna get that going, clean up the dirt, and then uh, go back home, charge the bike, and then Idlewell tomorrow. So with that, Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.